And so one of the things we thought is, as we were listening to people respond in the rooms of the speeches were happening, uh, wondering how they were all responding as they walked out, and Sarah Hollenbeck's been outside, and you got to talk to some people and get their reaction to these speeches. That's right, and they said that they felt really supported today. They said that these candidates were finally talking about issues that matter, not only to them, but also to their family. Oh, I really like that. As a Latino, I find out that we have a lot of support. <laughs> And that was wonderful. It's simple, really. These voters tell me political candidates slipping a sentence or two of Spanish into their speeches, like we saw today, or conducting bilingual polls. Personally, I think if we can get the vote out, we, we, we will be the swing vote. Even the young voters are taking notice. 93% of Latinos under the age of 18 are U.S. citizens, and 73,000 become eligible to vote every month, according to the Pew Hispanic Center. One woman here today, Kathy Ayala, just graduated from high school. I am born here. I was born in Kansas City, but my parents weren't. And I know a lot of people who, would, who weren't born here. So just hearing how they believe that we are part of this country, is it's very inspiring. The most important topic to her, immigration. I hope that, you know, we can finally get make it easier for people to get papers because like they said, you know, we all, they're the people who really know what the American dream is. They believe in it. That's why they come. To Ernest Ortega says a range of topics are important to him. Immigration, economic development, jobs, and the other part is they haven't talked too much about is the housing crisis isn't over yet. Now, while we only had Democrats here today, all of the voters I talked to said that Republicans should not tune them out either. In fact, last November, 35 percent of the vote from Latinos actually went to those Republicans. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.